I'm Kev. And I'm Steve. And we're from the internet. Want an extra episode of We're From The Internet every week? Head over to we'refromtheinternet.com slash bonus to get an exclusive weekly bonus episode 100% free. Hello Kev, hello Steve, it's the um, Harry Steve here. Uh, just wondering how you like your egg stunt. Hey, Harry Steve, it's you from an alternate universe, <laughs> where you're down a well and you've left your phone at the top on the land, by the sounds of it. Is this the same alternate universe, Steve, as alternate reality, Steve, that emails me? Because if he's Harry Steve, then there's two alternate news. No, this is Harry, you've met Harry Steve. I know I have, but he's going to say, no, he's, he can't be, because the alternate reality, Steve, doesn't leave his reality. Exactly. Part of the problem. So. Was he asking about eggs? Um, I think he said, how do we like our eggs then? I like him in a bucket of red food colouring, personally. Yeah, see, he should have said, like, how do you like your eggs done in the morning? Because, you know, fertilised or something like that. You could have set up a gag, but he didn't. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i not really an egg eater. You know this. When we go to yeah, the... it's weird. I've never known anyone go and have a cooked breakfast and shun the eggs and the hash browns. You basically get rid of all the best bits. No, they don't. The sausage is Yet the best you bit. still waste plate space on beans and just make all your food taste like it's covered in wet sugar. Yeah, I have to keep the, the beans separate from all the other food. I never let them touch. So you have sausage, bacon, and a cup of beans, and that's your idea of breakfast. You need to get some, some mushrooms. You need to get some hash browns and some eggs in there. There mm. is not a bad way to cook an egg. Eggs are my f- deep fried. <laughs> Throw it in a deep fat fryer. We will do that YouTube channel one day. But I mean, they're, they're just a wonderful thing. They're so versatile and delicious. I particularly I don't dislike eggs. I just don't really fancy them in a fry up. I have an all day breakfast uh, sandwich that has an egg in it. You have it? Does it run? Is it a runny egg in there? No, it's a uh, scrambled. So that's all, it's, I, it's a brave man who has a runny fried egg in a sandwich because you're just asking for uh, facial burns and beard debris. If you do I'd that. make sure the uh, the yolk. Is that the orange bit? The yolk? Yellow. Oh, my it's orange. orange. It's yellow. Who's the colour blind one here? You. Exactly. It's yellow. It's orange. That's yellow, you freak. Yeah, you're pointing at an egg yolk. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that orange. What did I just do? Um, that orange bit there is what would be. Are we still? I don't know what you just did. You kind of put a big white line appear on the thing. I'm going to pause for a minute and check you haven't broken the computer. See, my favourite bit about that, listening to it back, is it's completely fine apart from the fact that you stopped talking to check if we were still recording, which is no way to check. No, you're right. I suppose. Well, I, I did just kind of punch the keyboard as I tried to point at the orange bit. Um, the yellow bit, the egg yolk. You, looks like somebody... Are you pointing at the iTunes logo? No, the one next to it. red. iBooks. The orange iBooks logo. That looks nothing like an egg yolk. The, 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 the yellow Outlook a... thing looks more like an egg yolk. Stick a comment in the reviews telling us whether egg yolks are orange or yellow, please, internet. Forget the reviews. Stick it... I was going to say stick it in an iTunes review. <laughs> then I realised what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, iTunes review. What colour are egg yolks? Um, obviously, if they're... Um, Hard boiled, it, it goes yellow. Yeah, it's always yellow. That's why it doesn't change colour. If you're over, see that's yellow. <laughs> that one there. Oh, the ones in my head. No, to be fair, look, that one's orange. Yeah, but that's a plastic toy. That's not no, a real egg. You're looking at there. That's a toy. That's orange. No, you know that's that yellow. One. That's orange. I reckon that's if, orange. If that's red. <laughs> inexplicably. If you stopped a hundred people on the street and said, "What colour is an egg yolk?" I I, I say 75 of them are going to say yellow. At least. Well, let's see. If we get 100 people to review us now saying red, uh, sorry, orange or yellow. Don't give any context to it. Just one word, orange or yellow. Then um, we'll know. And all right, looking at these pictures, it seems that it just depends on Is the it, eggs. This might... I mean, they're really yellow, those eggs. Yeah, because they're actual they're eggs. They're probably ostrich they're not, eggs. They're not pictures of eggs like the rest of them are. <laughs> but I th- it might be something to do with the difference between the shell colour on English and American eggs, because American eggs are completely white shells, aren't they? So mm. perhaps they're a different coloured yolk. Perhaps you only eat American eggs, because you, perhaps you've never eaten an egg and you're just watching American TV. That wouldn't surprise See, me at all. why do some of them go grey? It's a dirty and horrible. That's right. If you overboil them, they start to go grey. Mm. You've got a lot to learn about cooking eggs. This is why we need to fry I only curl them. eggs. I once uh, <laughs> went to egg somebody's house as a kid, and um, 
Why? Asked the, well, he had it coming. Why? I can't remember. I think doing? he just was one of our friends, and then we all just decided we didn't really like him anymore. So rather than telling so, him and letting him deal with well, the issue, no, fine, though. he decided to egg his house. Yeah, we figured he'd get the message, so we all got in. Um, we all got the train up to his... You got to get the train yeah. there to egg his house. We got the train to where he lived. It's right down the road from our school, and we, we bought enough eggs to feed an army. Did and, you have um, to get the train to school? No, I used to get a bus to school, but the train was better for us because we didn't have any money for I was going for money you know, we'd have bunked the trains we wouldn't have paid for them um, you're a disgrace so we had a drawn I up I didn't realise I did podcasts with a criminal we drew out a map of all the streets and we had a big plan of we were going to come around the corner we were going to throw everything we had and then we were all going to disperse down to separate places and meet up at another point and while we were talking through it our mates our ex-mates Dad drove by and waved out the window at us and we waved back. And then as my mate was saying, maybe we shouldn't do this anymore because he knows we're outside his house. <laughs> Mid-sentence, all I could hear was me going, leg it! Because I just <laughs> launched a pack of <laughs> eggs as hard as I could. So they nail through what they could and we all ran for it. And um, then one of this guy's dad appeared at my house, ranting and raving, asking for um, one of my friends. My mum was like, he doesn't live here. This is Richard's house, and she and um, he he's in Stanford. It was like, where's Dan? Dan doesn't live here. This is Richard's house. He's in Stanford with Dan. <laughs> Dan was like, I know. He just egged my house, <laughs> and um, so he just went around all our houses having to run at our parents. And I think only the two who weren't involved decided to leg it before we started. Uh, they didn't do anything. They got in the most trouble, which is a shame. But we weren't friends with that guy anymore. We met him, and he can't remember why we stopped being friends. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Um... Did you leave the eggs out in the sun for a month before you did it? No, we didn't have that much preparation. I think this was just really fickle. Um, we just turned on them all of a sudden and that was that. So you had to just use fresh eggs. Yeah. You probably made a nice omelette after that. We did once make... Uh, <laughs> we went to egg someone once and a friend of mine... How many times do you make Oh, loads. Food? But um, we went to Tesco's and because we were worried about getting told off, we bought eggs and then my mum bought flour, which I thought, yeah, fair enough. And then he bought yeast and milk. <laughs> <laughs> so when we were egg in this house, he starts pouring flour and yeast and milk over their car. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> he just had the yeast and thought, what am I going to do Why did he it? buy yeast? Because he wanted to tell the woman we were all making a big cake or something. You don't or put bread. yeast I don't in know. a cake. I don't you know. don't put milk in bread. I don't know what he was doing, but his plan was to tell him we were baking. Nice. See, I like my, big, uh, my eggs in their shell, ready to throw. Yeah. One of my greatest regrets in life is that um, long time listeners will know I have a, a something of a dislike for Barry Fry. Um, oh yeah, I was there for this. Um, stood out. Yeah, you were. We were. You probably saw the anguish in my eyes as this happened because it's a playoff final tradition that because we had it at Wembley back in the nineties that we have a hard boiled egg before the match. So stood outside Old Trafford. My dad hands me my hard boiled egg just as Barry Fry walks past, and he is less than a yard away from me and I'm holding an egg and I it was it was I felt like I was in a cartoon my brain was running through so many permutations of what could happen I was willing the egg to unboil itself so I could get away because if I throw a hard-boiled egg at him I'm gonna bruise him I'm gonna knock him out but if it's if I could just egg him a little bit then that's probably okay but I was, I was thinking will they still let me into the match will he see the funny side of it I don't oh, really see the funny side of it. That's because he's Barry Fry, he knows everyone hates him, he deserves it, he, he knows he's got it coming. He deserves it because he took over a failing poxy little club, remortgaged his house to the hilts and almost destroyed his family, just so your snuffy little club could stay in business, and then sold it on to a millionaire a few years later, so that now you're punching way above a place you ever right. should be, and you are you want to egg the we're, man. We're out of time, so I'm going to put you in your place quickly and effectively. According to that league table of the last 60 years that you sent me, we're exactly where we're supposed to be, to the exact position. So shut your face on that. And the only reason we needed saving is because he came in and borrowed a load of money and bought a load of players we couldn't afford because he's a moron. We were doing fine until that idiot came along and thought, this team in the third division, why don't they just go out and buy a load of £350,000 players? That's how to get success. What an idiot. Work for Chelsea. Want to support the show? Do all your Amazon shopping through we'refromtheinternet.com slash Amazon and it doesn't cost you anything extra, but we get a little kickback on everything you buy. Mm-hmm.